something that is not performing well enough that I am going to return it tomorrow. So, I need to be slow this time. Oh, I think I feel as well. Don't you agree that they have they should actually put go as one of their option for the pro line first. This is actually a um, ritual to smell Apple products when you first got it. So here I go. Uh, unboxing is actually pretty pointless sometimes I feel, but I still do it and people still watch it. So that's why I'm doing it. Hi, hello. <laughs> okay, so initially I wasn't thinking of um, talking in this video because I was super tired from work and it's already like 10 p.m. But after seeing my, the MacBook Pro here, I got really excited and so I have the energy to talk again. So let's get started with unboxing this baby. Oh well, I thought I wouldn't be as excited as um, that time when I got my MacBook Air because that was my first MacBook and it's in pink colour so that's why, not pink colour, rose gold or gold but yeah, I thought I wouldn't be that excited because this is in space grey and yeah, you, if you know that, if you know, you know that I love mm, pretty things and like if it's rose gold, it's better and I would love it more but oh well I still get excited on this one. It's, I'm actually really excited for the touch bar. I don't know why everyone said that it's useless, but I somehow want to, you know, explore how to use this um, touch bar. Because some of my friends said that it's quite um, useful and it's quite um, innovative. Not innovative in a sense, but more like it's very like advanced like you feel like you f live in the future and also for video editing it's also very easy um intuitive to use because you just you know i don't know how but i need to discover that so yeah i have my <laughs> macbook pro here the 2021 i don't know why every time like last time i really don't want to like open it because it's like seal and so pretty but like this time it's the same I still don't want to open it so it's perfect okay so but the whole point of this video is to unbox it so here I go so as usual you know that Apple products will come with this um what do you call it I don't know but you don't actually need a cutter to open it you can just use your bands <laughs> so here I go um, don't mind me if I look this way because I have my iPad here as a monitor I can't see anything here because I'm using my phone to film I'm too lazy to set up my camera because of the lighting and I don't have a memory card that's free to um, record stuff so yeah I hope the quality is good um, for my iPhone so yes I've been rambling too much so here we go I need to be slow. Last time I read off the whole thing and it was a fail. So I need to be slow this time. Oh, I think I fail as well. Okay, never mind. I think I can still save this. No, look at this. Eh, anyway, it's just plastic. Whatever. Oh, soft, soft, soft. <laughs> Put it here. Wow. Wow. Do you 
you see this? Ah, I mean, on first look, I can feel that this laptop, the color doesn't suit me at all. If you can tell from the background now I have, um, I think five good things are pink. And if you see gray, don't you think it's a bit odd? <laughs> but it's okay for its function. I can still deal with it and it's a nice space gray, I'll say. But Apple, you really have to come up with a um, more girly color like a rose gold one why the pro doesn't have a gold color it's not suitable for girls so please take this into consideration i know like no one from apple will watch this but yeah don't you agree that they have they should actually put gold as one of their option for the pro line <sighs> it's okay it's okay i can do with this so let me take it out Okay, first thing first, this is actually um, a ritual to smell Apple products when you first got it. So here I go. Oh, actually, mm, it's that smell. It's It smells the same as my MacBook Air when I first unboxed. It's that new MacBook kind of smell. I don't know whether iPhone has it, but yeah, I can say that it smells the same as the MacBook Air. And yeah, uh, unboxing is actually pretty pointless sometimes I feel, but I still do it and people still watch it, so that's why I'm doing it. So yeah, so it's very boring inside if you can see. There's just the information, like the booklets on how to use MacBook and obviously there's also this useless sticker that no one actually used. And then yeah. I actually haven't been looking at the information booklet from my MacBook Air previously because I don't know who who actually reads it. And then we have the um, the charger and the cable, and that's all from the box. I'll put that back in first because that's nothing interesting to see. So I'll set that aside. Oh. The box is actually bigger than the MacBook Air. I thought they're the same size, 13.3 inch. Okay, so up to this baby. Wow, I can't believe I'm I'm having a Pro now, a MacBook Pro. Okay, so I'll start from here. I'm just gonna peel it off. Wow, it actually feels really nice. Wow. This space gray is actually really nice. It's nice, but it just doesn't suit my aesthetic. So I, would, I think I'll just get a pretty case to suit my aesthetic. You're gonna know it's gonna be pink or like purple or like red because I'm girly like that. I'm not exactly girly, but you know, like my aesthetic is pink. <laughs> so yeah, that makes me girly. So there you go. So I'm aware that because this is not the first time I'm doing it already. Two months ago, I unboxed an, a MacBook Air and I returned it to get this um, new baby here. So the specs I'll put somewhere here, anywhere on the screen. So you will know. I, I, the only thing that I'll say is that I upgraded this base model to 16 gig RAM. So that's more space for me to edit stuff. If that makes sense, I think that's what my brother and my boyfriend told me it's better for editing. I mean, if you get more RAM. Yeah, so. Oh my god, the way it already had a fingerprint! So, I know that if I open this, the laptop will automatically switch on. So, I need to change the angle to show you how I set up my MacBook. So, just wait a minute. So. Ta -da! Oh, oh. Good thing about MacBook is that you can open it with one hand and you see it's already lighting up. Mm. The big reveal. Just gonna wait. Wow, it's actually really pretty. So first off, I'm just gonna set it to English or Australia. 
she's from Australia, so definitely Australia English. Then, ooh, the keyboard feels good. Actually, it feels really, really good. The keyboard is really good. Sorry, sorry to talk in this angle, but yeah. Network connection can be formed here. Okay, so now we're doing the fingerprint thingy, and you can see here on this touch bar it says lift and rest your finger on touch ID repeatedly. That's really cool. Like wow. Oh sorry, Daddy. Oop, and it's ready. It's setting up. We have a beer here to celebrate the opening of my MacBook Pro. Oh, it's done. Wow. Okay. Sorry. So, hi. This is me two days after I unboxed the video. So the video got cut off. I mean abruptly when I was filming, I don't know why, maybe it was me trying to connect my airpods to my macbook and then my phone got triggered in some way and it stopped filming and I didn't know so I don't have the footages to put into the unboxing video so here I am filming an outro. So after two days of using it, I'm just gonna share a bit of my thoughts here. So I've been trying to edit my, the unboxing video on my macbook Pro 2020 and it's really smooth really I mean compared to um, the MacBook Air 2020 that I've got last time so I mean a two days update I'm really happy with what I've got now but I'll make like a proper um, update on on this laptop here a proper review of how I use it and how it's performing compared to the MacBook Air so stay tuned for that it's coming soon it's uni holiday now so I have more time to make videos so stay tuned for my upcoming videos I'll make a comparison as well as um, a review on this MacBook MacBook Pro 2020 and yeah I hope you enjoyed the unboxing video that I did and subscribe for more and like comment and subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you in my next video bye bye walking downtown and I'm okay he's got it all figured out